Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new set, the 2012 set of MASH plates. So they come in the little en envelope. They do have the neat paper backing on them, which is nice. So you have that protection and it makes the edges very uh, less dangerous. They do have the blue film on the top, so you just want to peel those back. They come off nice and easy. I'm very, very happy with these. There are 25 plates in the set, and this particular set starts numbering from 26 up to 50. So I'm going to just go ahead and peel all the blue off of all these plates, and I'll come back and show you these plates up close. Okay, so here we're going to start just going through all the plates up close. And feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to see these closer. This is number 26. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. I might gotta clean a little bit. I got my fingerprints all over it. Thirty-one. See the fun little faces. I like this guy. <laughs> Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. The fleur de lis is really pretty. They did a nice job on this. Thirty-six. Very cool paw print. Oh, look at the bee. Huh. Thirty-seven. I'm totally loving this octopus. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. 38. Now we start with our cool full nail patterns. 39. Yeah, that's like a unicorn. 40. Forty one. It's like a chain link. Forty two. There's your horse. Forty three. Forty four. Forty five, forty six, forty seven. There we go. Forty eight. Very cool flames. Forty nine and fifty. Okay, next I'm going to pick just a couple of um, a couple of patterns, and I'm going to um, show you kind of how well they stamp. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you, I'm going to do a little demonstration with one of the, the plates on one of my fingers, and then I'm going to show you some samples that I tried out 
This was my first sample. I'm just stamping these on these like clear marble things, um, which you'll see, you've probably seen this in my other video where I was kind of just given a tip. It's just a way to kind of do some samples without having to keep, you know, using remover on my fingers. So here is one sample. This base color is this one from InstaDry. I don't know exactly what it's called because it's a mini, but it's kind of this shimmery, limey green. And I stamped that one with Mash Plate 42. And I used this sort of um, snakeskin pattern. And I used this color, Fresh Paint. I got it my Five Below. It's kind of a metallic olive green. But this stamped really well. And I'm not kidding you guys. After all these samples that I did, I am extremely impressed with these plates. All of the images are coming out so clear. I even chose one. Here is plate number 43. I'm using this one because it has a little bit more of the thin and intricate lines. And I didn't pick up a full image, but look at how clear this came out. The base color on that one is this pink from Fresh Paint. And I used Conad polish for this one just because I wanted to test the Conad as well. But that one came out great also. And then um, this sample I thought was pretty fun. And I was extremely, again, extremely impressed. This is the plate 29. That skull came off without any blemishes as well as these stars, which are both on this plate here. This base color is uh, Wet n Wild Ebony Hates Chris and stamped using Sally Hansen Insta Dry Silver Sweep, which is my favorite silver for stamping. But that one came out great, okay? So now we'll do a quick demonstration using plate number 45. I'm going to do this little swirly pattern here. I'm going to stamp that one with Conad White just for a quick demo. I'm only putting polish on half the image and I'm going to scrape it down. A little polish saving tip. And here it is. I mean, it's picking up so perfectly. Okay, I didn't stamp it on straight, but I mean, there is no part of the image missing. Absolutely none. The detail is phenomenal. Everything I've tried has come out perfect. I, had, I didn't even have to do, like, stamp it a second time to get it right. It literally is the first time every time. So I'm really happy with these. So I think that probably covers it. I've tried regular polishes as well as Conad polishes. Um, I've tried several different, you know, bold and, and narrow lined stamps. These are really, really nice. So thanks so much, MASH, for letting me review these plates. These are fantastic. I'm really, really happy with them. There's so many neat designs to choose from. So um, hopefully this will help you guys deciding whether or not you want to buy these. So uh, again, the link is going to be in the description box below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.